for both sides, this trial has been long and draining, but it all came down to this day. The jury all voted in favor in convicting Hughes of murder. Now Hughes is awaiting sentencing. Oh my God. Carla Hughes's Aunt Ivy Nunn was one of the first family members to walk out of the Madison County Courthouse after the verdict was read. She didn't do this, ain't no way. But hopefully we'll get a chance to go back and try it again. She was disappointed and is ready for an appeal. But for the Banks family... Oh it's a new day, a new year. This day brings closure. I think I was been in jail for three years. And all of a sudden they let me out. Banks' father, Frederick, says a huge burden has been lifted. After seven days of testimony, the jury made a unanimous decision. Rankin Madison County DA Michael Guest says phone records and the timeline show Hughes murdered Banks and her unborn son. As hard as they tried, as hard as they were able to try to deflect all the other evidence off of Carla onto Keon, they were never able to tie that to Keon in any manner at all. Defense attorney Johnny Walls is already planning to appeal. That uh, the state did not meet its burden of proving beyond a reasonable doubt that she committed this crime. But the Banks family says this day is for Avis. You know, and I'm just ready for my sister to rest. I'm ready for her to rest. Just come over here for justice and we feel like we got it. The Banks family says they plan to celebrate this day by going to visit Avis's grave. The murder happened November 29, 2006. The family says now Avis can rest in peace.